Okay, let's uh, go through these uh, examples. So even though we have three equations that we're worrying about, we actually have to do six different things because for each one of them we need to find the partial derivative with respect to x and y. Okay, so let's start with this first one. If we take the partial derivative with respect to x, then we're going to just leave the three y alone. We treat them like numbers. Uh, they don't change. They don't have any effect on the partial derivative because that's we're studying what happens when we change x by a little bit. How does that affect the answer? Not when we change y. So we're just going to leave y. Now if we now we focus on this x squared part, and the derivative of that is just two times x. Okay, because if we subtract one from the exponent, we end up with x to the power of one, which we can just write as x. And this can also be re rewritten as six times y to the x, two times three. If we take the derivative with respect to y, well now we're going to leave the 3 alone. We take the derivative with respect to y, that's just 1. And then we're going to leave the x squared alone now because we're not taking the derivative with respect to x. And this is equal to 3x squared. Okay. Now let's focus on the next one. We have x to the power of 1 third times y to the power of 2 thirds. So if we take the derivative with respect to x, we need to take the exponent of 1 third and bring it out front. Then we need to subtract 1 from there. And we can just leave the y and write it as is, y to the 2 thirds. So x to the 1 third minus 1 is equal to x to the negative 2 thirds times y to the positive 2 thirds. Okay. And that's our partial derivative for this one. What about over here? Well, we're going to leave x to the 1 third alone and just rewrite it, treat it like a number. And then the derivative of y to the 2 thirds is 2 thirds y to the 2 thirds power minus 1. We can rewrite this as 2 thirds. I'm going to run out of room, aren't I? Let's do it down here. 2 thirds x to the 1 third times y to the negative one-third, because two-thirds minus one is negative one-third. Lastly, let's do this guy. This one has natural logs, but uh, it's actually pretty simple because uh, the x's and y's don't interact except additively. So if we take the derivative with respect to x, the first term is 10 times the derivative of natural log of x, which is one over x. And in the second term, well, we look, there's no x here, so there's no effect of this term on what happens to the answer when we change x, so we'll just write 0, and we've done it. Over here, the first term, there's no y, and we're taking the partial derivative with respect to y, so this is just 0, has no impact, and then we have 5 times 1 over y. Okay, so that is how you do these three examples.